In this model, we will study about the tools on the Mesh Modeling panel. The first class is on Mesh Modeling. And we'll start by speaking about an option introduced in the 2007 version of the program, but now with some new features. Let's get to the class. After opening this file, you can see some modeled objects. We will start by speaking about gizmos. Gizmos display the Cartesian plane of each object. If we select several objects at the same time, there will only be one gizmo for all of them. They are similar to model grips, displayed according to the way the object is selected. And change the placement of the XY plane geometry, its rotation or scale. When working with primitive solids, you can enable the object Gizmo by selecting it in the graphic workspace. The Move, Rotate and the Scale options are located on the Sub-Object panel for the Gizmo. Let's select the Move option. See how when we move the mouse on two axes, a line is enabled to show the path of the object. Just click and drag the model to move it. See, the object has been repositioned and the object is mode 2. We can change the location of the symbol by right-clicking the mouse and select the Relocate Gizmo option. This way we can define a new location for the object reference axis. Now enable the Rotate option of the object around the gizmo. See how the model rotates around the axis, defined by its new location as related to the global location on the screen. In Scale, we can change the scale of the object based on the defined axis. See how when we select one of the axes, the part is changed on both sides, proportionally. We can also change the model scale in any direction you like, as necessary. Gizmos are used quite a lot in this course, especially for applying the tools on the Mesh Modeling tab. As you can see in this example, gizmos are very important for editing a solid. You will use them continually from now on to design more complex models and work with specific parts of each object. So in this class you have learned how to work with gizmos and relate each object to the global coordinate system.